to talk about it? Can't we just pretend it didn't happen? Oh, I don't think we can do that, Blair. Face it, Pollyanna. There's a lot of crime around. <laughs> I know that. I watch Hill Street Blues. <laughs> Now, I don't want you girls to panic about the situation. The school is taking every possible precaution. Yeah, that's why all those workmen were here this morning. They're installing alarms. But will alarms be enough? Oh, it's not just alarms, Blair. They're arranging for closed-circuit television, electric gates. I know all about these precautions. They may keep a few people out, but mostly they lock people in. Okay, everybody, get ready. <laughs> Natalie, you look fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna bring that party to its knees. Have you guys seen the new notice on the bulletin board? You mean the one about National Succotash Week? <laughs> I think she means the one about the women's safety course. The school is arranging for a series of classes. And I've offered the use of the cafeteria. They're going to teach self-defense? Well, defense is part of it. Anybody interested? Not me. I have this silly aversion to being hurled over someone's shoulders. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe you'll get a chance to do some of the hurling. Ah, then count me in. I like to mix it up a little. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sign right here. How about you, Blair? I have the perfect thing to wear. You know that karate outfit I bought right after I saw Shogun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one with the little alligator on it, committing Harry Carey. <laughs> that was absolutely, without question, the worst party I've ever been to. Did I lie? Yeah, well, when I left, Mike was cheek to cheek with Julie Sable. <laughs> that jerk. She came to Sophia Loren. <laughs> she won first prize. <laughs> All she did was stand around speaking Italian and acting dumb. I could never have done that. No, you would have had trouble with the Italian. <laughs> oh, I bet Natalie was disappointed. She was kind of counting on winning. Actually, she took it pretty well. Yeah. yeah. After we pried her hands from the judge's throat, she was fine. <laughs> she must have gotten over, because she was having a great time when I left. Well, this whole evening has just been too formidable. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Well, what do you say, Diana? Think it's time to hop upstairs? <laughs> Natalie! What happened? I was coming home, and I knew it was late, so I was hurrying. I was in farm, Mrs. Garrett. I was almost home. Natalie, what happened? A man grabbed me, and I tried to scream, but he covered my mouth. Oh, my God. He pushed me down, and he was holding me down. And all of a sudden, I heard people's voices. He must have heard them, too, because he just got up and left and ran away. Natalie. Mrs. Garrett, those people had him pass by. It's all right. It's all right. Mrs. Garrett, I was almost home. Oh. 